guys, so today we're going to be making these little summer hats and it should fit a baby's head anywhere from zero to six months. Uh, I do crochet quite tight so I did leave um, some information in the description box below if you crochet on the looser side or anything like that because it could end up being that you end up with a hat that's more for a one-year-old or um, just because everybody crochets differently but my hats will fit about zero to six months and I do have these little flowers on them you don't have to do this you can just leave it as the hat itself which is also very cute if you do use these flowers which I got at Michael's just be careful because I've had a couple of these center little pearls there fall off so you do want to be careful if you are putting it on a baby so the materials we'll need for this project is like I mentioned any little embellishments you'd like to add to your hat. I have a pack here of the flowers that I use and as you can see some of the beads are already falling off so I had to re-glue those on. So just be careful with that if you do end up getting this pack but you can get any kind of embellishment that you'd like. You could even crochet a flower or put some ribbon around the brim whatever works for you. Um, you will also need the yarn that I used here, which I did not use this color, but I did use the same Capri by Loops and Threads. And it's a 57% cotton, 28% nylon, and 15% polyester. And I thought this yarn worked really good for this hat. It's got a little stretch to it. And I do recommend if because it's a summer hat using a cotton it will be a little bit cooler using an acrylic would work just fine it'll just be a little bit on the warmer side and if you would like it similar in size I recommend using any four weight yarn the yellow hat here that I made and what I will be showing you in the tutorial. I used the color bright yellow and this blue hat here. I used the color turquoise. You will also need a size five millimeter crochet hook, which is an H, a stitch marker, a yarn needle to sew in your ends, a pair of scissors and again if you're going to be adding an embellishment uh, that is not able to be sewn on you will need some fabric glue I use this Gorilla fabric glue which I like quite a bit so to get started we're gonna start with a slip knot on our hook and to make a slip knot you take your short end and put it over the long end and you take that loop and you fold it over both and grab that long end from the center of the loop while holding that short end and pull everything tight and now you have a slip knot and from here we're going to insert our hook and pull that long end tight and we can start So we're going to start by doing a chain of four. So yarn over, pull the yarn through, one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to slip stitch right into that first chain that we made, right next to that slip knot. We're going to go into that chain, pull the yarn both through that chain, and the loop on your hook and we're going to chain one and what we just did is made a little loop here that we're going to work into and you don't want to get confused with that opening right there 
if you pull the yarn apart a little bit, you'll see it's that big opening right in the middle there. So into the middle of that loop, we are going to do eight half double crochets. So to half double crochet, we yarn over, go right into that center, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three loops on your hook. Again, we yarn over, go right into the center there, pull up a loop, yarn over, you have three loops on your hook, and we're gonna go through all three of those loops. So we just did two half double crochets and we're gonna do a total of eight all the way around. And as you keep going, you can see that opening in the center opens up a little bit wider, so it's a lot easier to see where to put your hook. So I'm gonna keep working my way around until I have a total of eight half double crochets in the center of that loop there. And once I have that complete, we will meet up and go on to round two together. All right, I just finished my eight half double crochets around. And because we're going to be working in the round for this hat, I'm not actually going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet I made. We're going to work right into that stitch with a half double crochet and then we'll mark it with a stitch marker which will show the beginning of the round. So if you have to, you can count back eight stitches here just to make sure you're going into the right stitch and not the chain one next to it. So I'll count back eight stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and into that first half double crochet that we made there, I'm going to insert a half double crochet. And again, just pull the yarn up a bit and I'm gonna mark that stitch as the first stitch of round two. Insert my hook again. And into that same stitch that we just put the half double, I'm going to put a second half double. So we have two in the same stitch. And also with that opening in the center, if you pull that tail yarn down here, you can close up that center. And if it doesn't get it as close as you like, we can go back in later with a needle and just close it up a little bit more. So at this point, I'm gonna work my way around the entire circle, putting two half double crochets into every stitch. So I'll go on to that next stitch and put two half double crochets into the same stitch. And one, two, half doubles into the next stitch. And I'm just gonna keep working my way around the circle, putting two half double crochets into every stitch. And I will meet up with you again when I make it to this last stitch before the stitch marker and we'll go on to round three together. Okay, I'm at the final stitch here, right before the stitch marker. So I will put two half double crochets into that stitch. And at this point, you should have 16 half double crochets around. So I'm gonna remove that stitch marker. And again, go right back into that stitch that I just removed the stitch marker from, which was the first half double crochet of round two with a half double crochet. And we're starting round three at this point. So we'll mark that stitch again as the first stitch of the round. 
And again, I'm going to go back into that same stitch that I just put that half double crochet into with a second half double crochet. And into the next stitch, I'm only going to put one half double crochet. And into the next stitch, it will be two half double crochets. And the next one is just one. And that's going to be the pattern for round three. So it's two half double crochets into the next, and one half double crochet into the next, and two into the next, and one into the next. So I'm going to continue that pattern all the way around of alternating two half double crochets into the same stitch and then just one half double crochet into the following stitch. And I'm going to work my way around and again I will meet you back here right before we reach that stitch marker to go on to round four with you. All right, I have one stitch remaining. So I just finished in that second last stitch. I did my two half double crochets and now into that final stitch before the stitch marker will be just a single half double crochet. So you're always going to finish these rounds on a single half double crochet. So at this point you should have 24 stitches all the way around. And from here again we're going to remove that stitch marker and go into that same stitch you just removed the stitch marker from with a half double crochet and mark that stitch again as the start of round four. And we'll go back into that same stitch with a second half double crochet. So just like we're always ending the rounds in a single half double crochet, we're always starting our rounds with two half double crochets into the same stitch. And now it's going to be over the next two stitches will just be a single half double crochet. So one into the next stitch and into the next stitch just one half double. And into the next one we're going to again do two half double crochets. And then just one into the next, and just one into the next, and the next will be two. So that's the pattern for this round. It's just two half double crochets, and then over the next two stitches, it's just a single half double crochet in each, and then two and then over the next two stitches it's just one in each. So I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around and once again I will meet you back here and we'll go on to round five together. All right I'm just coming to the end of row four here and I have three stitches remaining. So the next one is going to be two half double crochets into the same stitch. And then I have two remaining so I know I did the pattern correctly around there because it works out to just have one half double crochet into each of those final two stitches. So again we're going to remove our stitch marker and at this point you should have 32 stitches around. So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. Again, half double into that stitch I just removed the marker from. Put it back in to mark the start of round five. 
and a second one into that same stitch. And this round is going to be, have three single half double crochets in between the groups of two half double crochets. So I just did my two. Now over the next three stitches, it will just be one into those next three stitches. And then two into the next. And just one into the next three. Two and three. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this all the way around for row five. And what we're doing right now is just increasing uh, the top of the hat. So we're just making it a little bit wider. So I'm going to finish up round five. And at the end of round five, you should have 40 stitches around. And I will meet you back again when we're going on to round six. Round six, we're going to do the exact same thing of removing that stitch marker, inserting a half double crochet into that stitch you removed the marker from, and marking that stitch as the start of round six. And again, we're going to put a second half double crochet into that same stitch. And at this point, you've probably guessed the pattern. So on this round, we're going to have four single half double crochets in between the sets of two half double crochets. So we just started with two, and then we'll put a half double crochet over the next four, and then two half double crochets into the next stitch, one half double crochet over the next four, two into the next stitch, and so on, all the way around. And we're going to repeat this exact same pattern where each row we increase the number of those single half double crochets into the stitches by one. So for row six, we have four in between, and then when we go on to row seven, We'll, do, we'll start row seven with the two half double crochets and then do one half double crochet over the next five all the way around. And we're going to repeat that for row, we are on row number six right now. And we're going to do row number seven and row number eight. So after row number eight, you should have 64 stitches and row eight, you would have got up to uh, six single half double crochets in between those sets of double. I hope that makes sense, but I'm gonna continue on over this row and then the two next rows and I will meet you back here when I finish row eight because at that point we'll have finished increasing the top of the hat and we're gonna go on and do something different for the next row. All right, I just finished up row eight and you should have 64 stitches around there and I'll take a measurement. So your circle should be right around four and a half inches. So for row nine through to row 18, we are just going to do one half double crochet in every stitch. So we're all done increasing. So we're no longer starting with two in that stitch. We will continue marking the first stitch of every round. So we're working on row nine here and we're just going to go into every stitch with one half double crochet. 
and I'll just keep working my way around putting one half double crochet into every stitch and when I make it back I'll do the same of removing my stitch marker putting in a half double crochet in that stitch you removed the marker from and remarking the first stitch and again I'm going to do that for rows 9 through to 18 so and that includes row 18 so as soon as I've completed row 18 with just one half double crochet in each stitch around and around um, I will meet up with you again and we'll go on to the next step together so I'm just finishing up row 18 here and you should have 64 stitches around um, when you're if you lose count when you're working up the rows just remember if you're counting from the beginning to count on the right side of the stitch marker and not the left because the left side will give you one row shorter but I counted each row one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 rows. So I just have one stitch left here on row 18. And we will remove our stitch marker again. And for row 19, we're going to start on the brim of the hat. So we're going to do some increases. But instead of going through Typically when you go whoops when you go through the stitch you have both of those top loops on your hook like that V for this round we're just going to go through that front loop only so leaving out that back loop and just picking up that front loop for this round so, still with half double crochets. So we'll go into that first stitch, front loop only, like so, with two half double crochets. Oh, and I will mark that second stitch back because I didn't mark it when I did that first one like so and then for the next three stitches we're just going to do one half double crochet front loop only so one two three in a row and then the next stitch we'll do an increase which is two half double crochets Again, front loop only for the entire round. And then over the next three stitches, we're just going to do one half double crochet into each stitch. And the next one will be an increase, so we'll do two half double crochets. And that's the pattern for this round. Three half double crochets in a row with no increases and the next one will be an increase stitch so it will get two half double crochets and working in this front loop only what's what that's doing is making you can see the brim starts to kind of stick out this way a bit so when you're wearing the hat, it'll come out a little bit and not just fall right over your eyes. So it'll start to work out this way. So I'm going to just keep going on row 19 with an increase stitch and then three half double crochets in a row. Increase stitched three in a row, all in the front loop only. And when I make my way all the way around and back to this side, We'll go on to the next step together. 
All right, I'm just coming to the end of the row here and I have four stitches remaining. So the next stitch will be a increased stitch. So I'll do two half double crochets into that stitch. And then I have three remaining. So I'll just do one half double crochet into those remaining three stitches. And that's one way to know that you did this round correctly if you end with just three uh, single half double crochets in a row. So now we're at our stitch marker. I will remove that and into that first stitch we're going to do an increase stitch again but instead of going through that front loop we're going to go back to making sure both of those loops are on top of your hook. So we're going to go through that whole stitch. So we'll do two into that first stitch and I won't forget to mark my first stitch this time and we'll go back in with a second half double crochet and now we're going to do one half double crochet into the next seven stitches so there's one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And into that next stitch we'll do two half double crochets. One and two. And again, we're going to do one half double crochet over to over the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the next stitch will be an increased stitch, so two half double crochets into that stitch. So that's the pattern for this round. It's two half double crochets and then one half double crochet over the next seven stitches and then two half double crochets into the next and so on. So we're going to work that pattern all the way around and again I will meet you at the end of the row. So I'll see you then. Okay, I just finished round 20 and my final seven stitches was just one half double crochet into every stitch, so I know I did that round correctly. So for round 21 and 22, we're just going to do one half double crochet into every stitch. So we're not doing any increases for the next two rounds. I'll remark that first stitch again. And I'm just going to work my way around putting one half double crochet into every stitch for both this round, which is round 21, and I'll do the same for the next round, which is round 22. And as soon as I finish up round 22, I'll come back and we'll go on to round 23 together. So I'm just finishing up round 22, just putting in my last half double crochet, remove my stitch marker, and for round 23 we're going to do another increase round. So that first half double crochet I'll mark that, but we're going to do two into that same stitch like we've been doing. And for this round, there's going to be eight half double crochets in between the increased stitches. So now I will do eight half double crochets in a row. There's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. And into that next stitch, we'll do an increase. So that's two half double crochets, one and two into the same stitch. And then eight in a row. I'll finish up these eight and then do another increase stitch. So two half double crochets and that's gonna be the pattern for this round. So I'm going to work my way around and when I get back to the end here, I'll meet back with you and we'll go on to what is gonna be the final round together. So I just finished my final increased stitch there at the end of round 23 and I have eight stitches remaining. So once again, I know that I did this round correctly. So I'm just gonna finish up these final eight half double crochets. And for the final round of the sun hat, all we're gonna do is do a round of single crochets. So once again, I will remove that stitch marker and I'll go into that stitch that the stitch marker was in with a single crochet. So to single crochet, we don't yarn over, we just go right into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And I'll mark it again just to be safe. And I'm just gonna work my way around putting one single crochet into every stitch. And this is just to kind of clean up the edge a little bit and help everything to stay down on that brim. So I'll keep working my way around with single crochets and I'll come back. Okay, I just finished the round of single crochets and I'm just gonna remove that stitch marker and I'm gonna slip stitch into that stitch that the stitch marker was in. So go in, pull the yarn through the stitch and through that loop on your hook. And then to fasten off, I'll chain one, cut my yarn, and pull that yarn through. And I will sew that in in a couple minutes here. But otherwise, we got the hat all done. I think it looks really cute. I'm actually going to add a couple flowers on the front. You don't have to do this. You can kind of make it your own. I was thinking of weaving a ribbon through this bottom row of stitches before the brim, and that way you could tie it up to tighten the hat a little bit if it's needed. But I'm just going to add a couple little flowers here which I got at Michael's. I think they're gonna work good. You can get anything you want. You could crochet a flower, you could buy a bigger flower and put it on the side or the front, but I'm just gonna add these three little flowers here and I will sew in my end as well. And as soon as I've done that, we'll get these all glued on. All right, I just got my end there sewed in and also in the center of the hat. 
So I'm just going to turn the hat around so where we fastened off is at the back and I'm going to insert these flowers here. So I'll start by getting the center one glued on. So just right in the middle there. I'll grab my fabric glue and just put a little bit right in the center. And press it down right in the middle. And I'll bring in my second flower here. Little fabric glue right in the middle. And the ones on the side, I'm just going to kind of tuck in a little bit under that middle flower and press that down for a second. This glue that I have dries super fast, so <laughs> I don't even need to hold it down. And a little glue on my final flower. I'll close that up. And again, I'm going to kind of tuck it under this middle flower. And push it down. And I'll hold them all there just for a second. And open it back up and your hat is all complete. I think those work good on there. So I think that's everything. Bring in the other one I made here. I think they turned out really good and I hope that you like the hat that you made. And I appreciate you watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.